to you. Welcome to Story Time with Karen. I love to bring sunshine into your day, and I am so excited to bring some of my favorite stories to life. Today's story is The Girl with the Big Voice, written by Veronica Santagida. This is such a wonderful story about a little girl named Ella who has a voice as big as her heart. This story teaches us about the power of staying true to ourselves and the magic of friendship. I'm going to need your help to wake up the characters and start our adventure. Let's use our clapping magic. Clap your hands. Clap louder. Clap faster. That's it, you're doing great. Hold on to your imaginations. Here we go. There was a lovely little girl and Emma was her name. She had a wonderful big voice they thought would bring her fame. Before she even learned to walk, they could all hear her speak in sentences with eloquence that showed her great technique. Her talent showed when she was young. Soon everyone would see how brave and strong and confident this toddler came to be. She blossomed and would think of countless cheerful things to say, but all her many words just kept on getting in the way. From when she woke up every day until she went to sleep, she'd ask perceptive questions with an interest that was deep. She'd say, I love my arts and crafts, but sports are awesome too. I swim and bike and nature hikes. I also like to do. When thinking of my passion, I'm just following my heart. The way I talk and laugh and sing has sent me off the chart. Some people say I talk too much, but that's not really true. I simply have a lot to say, lots more than others do. I often hear them tell me, hush, your voice is way too loud. That's hard for me to do, since I'm both passionate and proud. This year would be a special one, with starting a new school. Her mother told her what's to come, which kept her calm and cool. A tender heart and a cheery voice would help her with making friends. The question was, how many? She supposed it all depends. The school day soon would start, so Emma went inside. I'll make lots of friends this year. I just can't wait, she cried. Her first day started well, but then the teacher called for quiet. He noticed Emma talking loudly, making quite a riot. Just use your inside voice, the teacher said. We hear you well. No need to stop conversing, but remember not to yell. Quite true to Emma's character, she spoke without constraint. And luckily, her constant talking didn't make her faint. That morning, Emma worked in groups with kids she barely knew. They told her she was bossy and should join another crew. Then later, Emma joined the line of students in the aisle. Their next class in the music room was sure to make her smile. She skipped her way to music class to learn a brand new song. She thought, I'll practice every day at home so I'll belong. Then Emma sat right near the band, the woodwinds and the brass. They heard her singing louder than others in the class. The teacher looked her way and sharply tapped her music stand. She said, you have a singing voice that sounds so rich and grand. But there is a time for everything, including singing loud. At times, it's good to softly sing together in a crowd. 
the music class dragged on, but Emma kept an upbeat vibe. Though silenced for a moment, she was sure she'd find her tribe. When recess time arrived, young Emma looked extremely sad. She lost some freedom of expression, making her feel bad. She glanced around the playground, letting out a tiny moan, then saw a happy student who was reading all alone. So Emma went to say hello and prepare to listen well. She paid attention closely, making sure she didn't yell. The student Taylor talked about remaining strong and true. It's good to look inside yourself and always just be you. I hope it will be helpful if I share my point of view. You're smart and brave and speak your mind. We should all be like you. Though coming from a youngster, Taylor's truth came shining through. Your voice is quite unique. Be proud of how it speaks for you. Though kids may say insulting things, try spinning them around. Remember, you're a leader with the most amazing sound. A voice like yours can change the world when you're forever strong. Don't lose your confidence. Speak up. Our feelings can't be wrong. Yes, Emma learned that day that staying positive is smart. Your voice, if you're respectful, will be setting you apart. She gathered all the needed tools to speak and to be heard. Her voice would influence the world by being undeterred. From then on, she embraced her voice, remaining brave and true. Empowered by her friends' advice, succeeding through and through. So where is Emma now, the daring girl who leaves her mark? She's out inspiring others who, like her, will find their spark. Wow, what an adventure we've had with Emma today, learning all about the strength in our voices and the beauty of being ourselves no matter what. Always remember that your voice is a powerful gift. Use it to spread kindness, joy and courage. Be loud and be proud. I love the part where Emma says she likes arts and crafts and sports just like me. Liking a lot of different things is great. That's what makes you unique. I also learned how important it is to have good friends that love you for you. We should all try and find friends like Taylor. Let me know what your favourite part of the book was. I love hearing what you think. See you soon friends. Until then, remember, you're amazing just the way you are.